Aquarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This is your reading for the 18th to the 24th of May 2020 and I hope you're going to enjoy it because I'm putting three decks together by the same author and that is a Collet Baron Reed and do you do get more than one message from each card. There is numerology in there, there is a saying there or a quote and there's also a lot um, um, uh, um, the picture a picture says a thousand words now I'm going to read from the book as well so I'm going to go into it very extensively and I hope you you get your own message from each card and from the whole reading first of all we start off with the Amarillo the animal oracle spirit deck okay and the Amarillo is number three so that means creativeness okay and it says set healthy boundaries the, um, the Amarillo is a, an animal that has a hard shell so if you perhaps are in your shell you've pulled yourself uh, you've isolated yourself perhaps or perhaps you it's like I'm getting to here with this card is like water off a duck's back you're not taking any notice of anybody so come out of your shell perhaps you've closed your heart off or your solar plex or you've closed your mind to things because he's wearing a shield so you might be protecting yourself in one way or another okay and you can open up why don't you open up and set your boundaries let other people know what your boundaries are so I'm going to put the card down here so you can see whilst I'm reading the oracle message is for this card learning to set healthy boundaries is a gift of the Amarillo spirit you are entering a phase where in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life you may have to be discerning and say no to many things that may have been okay for you in the past this also means that you need to learn where you end and where others begin what is yours to own and what is not now your limits and understand that it's an empowering choice to say no to what doesn't feel right Amadillo spirit is here to tell you it's time to be honest with yourself about what you really want be clear on what you are agreeing to declare what you need your needs are and say no as a full sense sentence that is as acts of respect and kindness to others as well as yourself trust your body's signals and you will know what to do armadillo spirit guides you in making good decisions that are grounded in in a strong sense of what belongs to you and what doesn't this is a me uh, uh, the message this is a tricky time as you may find yourself in enmeshed with others overly concerned with how they will take it if you say no or express how you really feel do you feel anxious saying no to someone so you capitulate even knowing the outcome will not be in your best interests do you feel like it's your job to stop someone from facing their challenges instead you take might take on their responsibilities rescuing them instead of giving them the freedom to learn their lesson their way perhaps you feel that it if they only knew how much you cared they would change and then all would be well armadillo spirit asks you to be honest with yourself and others no matter how difficult that may be or how much you may fear losing someone or something 
face your fear, tell the truth, and set your boundaries. You will be amazed at the miracles that happen when you let Armadillo Spirit protect you from taking on too much, becoming a people pleaser and losing your integrity and other message of protection from armadillo spirit is to relax live and let live if you are someone else sorry if you or someone else is beginning being defensive you are called to step back and trust in spirit's plan so don't get into somebody else's drama like i always say learn to say no okay so with the armadillo like I said he's got a hard shield you're stronger than you are okay and protect yourself but like I also said open your heart and open your mind and open your solar plex and enjoy life live life live and let live beautiful then we're going on to the um, wisdom of the hidden realm and you've got the cosmos creativity well you had three there so that's creative and fastness yes so lots of space we might need space if you're coming out of your shell you will need space and look at the magical picture it's like fairy lights look at the moon it's got a face you're never alone somebody's always watching you might be even um, somebody might even have an eye on you your spirituality might be heightened at the moment your emotions okay you've got 41 so you're not totally in balance okay the cosmos appears always as an ally and never as a challenger creativity in all forms is uh, represented by the cosmos this is a sign to to place your attention on creativity and creative pro projects they will be successful remember that all of life is creative and you are always co-creating with the divine the cosmos also represents the principle of infinity and the fastness of the energetic exchange of consciousness influencing all living things this teaches us that every intention we set is in fact contagious with the power of influence of others and also we influence others as well we are entangled at our deepest energetic place so we can help but have an effect on others from an individual level to a global one that's the environment this is a sign to remind you to open up to the well of creativity deep within you and be mindful of your thoughts and actions like I said come out of your shell to remind you to open up wow it's beautiful I love it the messages that are coming out both are influencing your outer world most important keep taking action toward your goals as a cosmos response perfectly to manifest your highest destiny expect to be inspired and to meaningfully touch others with all your care and love and creativeness okay that's beautiful message you are influencing we it's like being you know something you you have life experience you gain knowledge and you pass it on to your children or your grandchildren or friends so that's a beautiful message from the cosmos now you have lepidolite and that is the stone that you can carry um, or meditate with okay now this card also goes into the relationship side and the general uh, uh, meaning 
So I'm going to leave that there so you can see it. And it's number 32. Again, a 5. So you've got really 5-5, five, five, a double number. And angels are telling you something. Lepidolite is simpli sim simplification, manageability, or uh, organization, one task at a time. Lepidolite spirit appears to tell you to slow down and simplify, for you have been turning your attention and your energy too far, too many different things distracting you yourself from the wisdom available to you. In other words, learn to say no. Okay. Stand your ground. If you feel lost and overwhelmed, it's no wonder. Fortunately, Lepidolite Spirit is here to focus you. Think about how satisfying it is to do one task from beginning to end with mindfulness free of all the noise that distracts you and keeps you from feeling a sense of completion. There is always more to do, but life becomes more manageable when you reorganize that refocusing over and over again will only exhaust you and slow you down. Remain present, doing just one thing and your courage, conviction and confidence will return. Take one task at a time. My mum used to say, you can't run before you can walk. So remember that. Then it will be easier to hear the quiet voice of your intuition, which will guide you in prioritizing what needs to get done, will get done, and your life will become more manageable and, my word, in order. If you follow this crystal lead, if you are in a, this is the relationship message that I'm going to tell you now. Problems in relationships have a way of sorting themselves out when we reorientate ourselves by simplifying. And sim simplicity is usually the most difficult. Remember that. Letting go of the string of worries that has us jumping here and there and feeling that we can never do enough or be enough to make our relationships work. Settle into simplicity and bring the energy of Lepidolite spirit into your relationships. Slow down and listen, saying simply, I'm sorry, yes, I see. Simply being present and focused on an other person, listening to the words they speak and the messages they send silently through the language of their bodies. You will start to feel calmer. Whatever the challenge, simplicity can help. Now, for prosperity, that is in work or spiritually or just for yourself, this is the message. Lepido Lepidolite spirit shows up when we are most likely to freak out. It gently soothes us with its message. Keep it simple. Figuring out finances can lead to a harried state even if you are good at maths because money represents your security in this world. Now is the time to release your fears and experience that focusing on just one task and completing it will return you to equilibrium and that is balance. One thing, then another, then another, it will all sort itself out if you simplify and focus on one thing at a time. The crystal spirit meditation that you can do is take a lepidolite, lepidolite stone, is to go to the stone for times of stress. It teaches us to slow down and care for ourselves. Although useful in meditation, this stone is just as effective placed into the bathtub while we soak. 
have a cup of tea and relax. So you can carry it around with you, you can put it in the bath water and you can also put oils in the bath water and um, I see purple here, pinky purple, so you can put rose water into your bath water or rose oil or you can put lavender into your bath and just relax, come back into balance and you can carry the stone. I hope you've enjoyed this reading for this week. Take your message from it, stand your ground, come out of your shell, okay, force respect by saying no, and if people don't respect you because you say no, you don't even have to give an excuse or justify. Just say no, I can't at this moment or another time, okay? Learn to say no, uh, Aquarius. Take your time. Create your space, okay? And um, uh, what else? What, what other message do we have here? Let's have a look. Remember, you're not alone. The world. Um, I'm getting also. The world is yet big, but yet so small. So stay in your own world. Be simplify it, like the lep lepidolite. Um, Crystal say, make your. Don't do everything, all at once, you know. Um, I know there's there's fastness for me also means um, space, but um, make your own space simple, so that you feel at home, that you can feel relaxed. Take space. Go into the bathroom and have a shower or a bath enjoy life and listen listen well to people so that you can give the right answer so that will simplify your life as well take rest rejuvenate so that you are strong enough to proceed to the next task don't do everything don't spread yourself too thin that is also what I'm hearing so wow I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I wish you a beautiful week ahead and see what m message relates to you and use it. Take care and be blessed, stay safe and I'll see you in the life and if not in the next video. So please share and like this video with family and friends. Ciao ciao.